Uh. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna walk walk here, alright. Illegal stuff ducking under the gate. No, just kidding. That's what that is. What does it look like? Marin. Yeah, but what does it look like to you? A lobster? <laughs> yeah, it's basically an Australian lobster. What are we exploring, Mouse? The dam? The dam? We are on our way to um, Kendanup. Hi! Just for a family holiday. Hi! <laughs> Which one? That one. And that one. The purple and blue. Oh, that one's my favourite. This is insane? Yeah, this is very insane. <laughs> Apparently this is the biggest collection of butterflies outside of the Natural History Museum. Oh. So pretty. I have to take some photos so I can do some painting, hey. And then there's some dolls. So, after a day of driving, we finally arrived and we're basically staying in an old caboose. Um, <laughs> I will have to show you. This is an old train carriage that they've refurbished and uh, it looks absolutely divine. And um, tomorrow morning we're gonna put the um, alpacas and the geese and the chickens to bed, apparently. There's some sheep over there. Let me show you the inside. The car is there. So this is the, the old door. It's absolutely adorable. Adorable. It's gonna close the door behind me to let the heat in or keep the heat in, I should say. So I can look all the way over there and then here's the kitchen. He told us we have some fresh fruit from his orchard, fresh eggs. Everything is kitted out here. We have some homemade Anzac biscuits, homemade sour cherry muesli, um, some fresh sourdough bread, butter, all the coffee you can possibly want. We have marshmallows because outside there, uh, let me see, here, the black thing is where, uh, is a barbecue and we can take the top off and then you have an open fire. Then we can toast some marshmallows. Uh, cups and whatever. Coffee in the fridge. We have some fresh milk 
and um, fresh um, homemade jam and whatnot. There's a little table here, the couch, TV with Netflix. There's some port. There is a, a Liliana and a Hi. husband. <laughs> and this is bedroom one and it closes with this. There's a sliding door here. Oh, it's got Lily in we, it. we don't need to close it right now. And then we have where Lily is sleeping. Hi. Uh, I can tell you on the top bunk. Mum, do you know you actually get to sit up here? Do you? Yeah, yeah. You have to stand up here with your socks and shoes off. Okay. And then sit up on this part. All right. And then listen to stories. Oh, is that so? Are you going to read me stories? Yep. Or are you, are you going to listen to stories? I'm going Look to. at your climbing. Watch out for your head, okay? I know. So okay, my new luck, but... It sleeps for, really. It sleeps for, really. And uh, there we have it. Mommy. And then here we have um, the bathroom, toilet, and everything in here. And also this can close somehow. Ugh. Yeah, somehow it can close. I'm sure of it. And uh, yeah, we're staying in a caboose for a couple of days. Well, that's a good way to remember it. Never eat soggy wee -bix. Never eat soggy wee -bix. <laughs> Where are we, Lily? We are at the uh, Porunga Rocks. <laughs> tree in the rock. <laughs> tree in the rock. All right, let's go see the tree in the rock. Let's find we? it. I think it's this way. Ooh, I think I just found something that's green. <laughs> you found something that's green? <laughs> No. No, that's a, that's just a tree stump. Come on. You can explore this bit when we come back now. Watch out for all the oh, what are they? Um, roots. Roots. So we're not doing the Nancy Peak Circuit Trail, but we're just going to uh, Tree in the Rock. Not that far. Hey? Pretty girl? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that wind is chilly still though. What time is it? It's like 830 <laughs> Big tree stump. You see any fairies? Do they only come out come out at night, do they? No. <laughs> Why not? They're not real. Oh. <laughs> okay, little miss five year old, they're not real. <laughs> ah, that was a loud twig. <laughs> I think 
A growing partnership. Uh, I think that's the tree in the rock. Is it? For sure. Oof, it's cold. <laughs> I don't think it's going up. I think it's a climb up inside a tree in the rock. No, Surface may be slippery, it says here. Use caution. Oh, so technically, you could. Do you want to go up? Careful, mouse. Walk up a bit further, sweetie. We are on a smaller walk now, a bit more adventurous, where we are gonna, what, what, what are, gonna, are we gonna see, Lily, a creek? Hi! Are we gonna see a creek or something? Yes, it's a creek. A creek, all right. Does it creak? No. It doesn't creak? The creek doesn't creak? No. Are you sure about that? I'm sure. All right. Fairy stump. Should have brought a little uh, fairy uh, fairy door. See if I can film without sliding on my bum. Took a shortcut. <laughs> no creek. I went through there. No creek, but that was fun. I'm pretty sure that there's a drain pipe just there that is the creek. Oh, shut it. Yeah, it's like this this thing. Hello, silly. <laughs> uh, at Mount Barker, and we found this little scenic lookout thing. Uh, I think you might have to turn around. You think I might have to turn around? Turn around what will I see then? Yes. The big tower. Okay. I'd rather see this. Hey Mouse, what are we here to do? We are here to get all the animals to bed. To put them to bed? No. Hello no. puppy. Hello, you're very huggy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like leaning up to me. And um, here we have a, a friend. Or three. Hey guys. Ooh. Hello. And the emu. Oh. What do you mean? Hello. Okay. <laughs> 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 you really are. Uh -huh. What are you feeding? You might mind if I just go and get the feed some. Yeah, go for it. Is it good, is it? And that sheep there, that's Dolly. Dolly? <laughs> She's not cloned, is she? <laughs> I was calling a clinker. My my um, sister came over from UK and she didn't know what a clinker was. But it's hanging dad, not daggers. Oh, all right. Okay. He used to be hanging from a bum, and uh, I used to call a clinker. But my sister didn't know. Nothing else for you. Nothing else for you. 
I've never fed a llama before. But boy, is he big. Crumbs. He's very packy. <laughs> Shove it in. Lily, do you want to feed, feed the llama? No. No? Okay. I'm not sure where the sheep are. I don't know. Should we? Maybe the sheep is just... Whoa! Ah. Uh... Do you want some of this? <laughs> Zoom. I got the zoomies. You on the other hand are very hungry. Oh, you are hungry. It's too bad now. Oh, there's only a couple of little bits left. I don't know if you want to try for those. You see the geese? Look, waddle, waddle. he has a crumble over him. Oh, back in the pen. <coughs> you ate it all. <coughs> oh, yeah, you tell them. Got one. Now, if you just put your hand just there, feel its little heart beating. You've got to put it right on there, like that. Now, <laughs> can you feel it, mouse? Yeah. Do you want to see the eggs that they lay? Very tiny. That makes the eyes water. <laughs> See that? Do you believe that mouse? No. Do you, know what, do you know where this egg comes from? An emu. They lay them like that. And this is a goose egg. And this is a quail egg. See how tiny they are. They are. Gotta look really, really carefully. Did you get some eggs? They're getting greener. Greener? Show me. Oh, pretty egg. Pretty oh, eggs. Nice. I has the stick with the food and they are looking for tadpoles I doubt it You know what? Lily's been trotting through this Yeah, if there's anything in here it's definitely it's hidden now Hidden or dead? So, the owner has a uh, an old barbecue here that is perfect for toasting marshmallows. So, um, yeah, let's just uh, check it out, shall we? Where are we, Mouse? At, I forget. At the zoo. <laughs> it's not the zoo. Which way are you going, sweetie? At the dinosaur park. Dinosaur park, that's right.
So after a rainy few days, one day where it was really, really nice and sunny, we are back from our trip and I thought I'd share a little mini haul with you. First up, because I want to do some miniature knitting, um, I have these small knitting needles. I didn't have any knitting needles, so I thought uh, I'd get a pair. Um, normally you would use three of these to knit socks. Um, these came in a pair of two, um, or in a pair, for 150. So pick those up. I think this is a size 12, I think. So yeah, um, small enough to do some miniature knitting. Then these ones are for felting. So this is a roving yarn or wool and um, this is very coarse and this is great for use inside um, felting projects. So these were 3 dollars I actually went to an actual art shop. So these are 3 dollars each um, and these will be for a future project on my main channel. Then we have, I needed some paintbrushes whilst I was away and then I didn't do any painting, but um, <laughs> I thought I'd pick these up anyway. So one of these is missing because it's in my other art pouch that I brought with me. Um, and then I saw these ones and I thought, oh, these look actually really nice just as general art brushes. So um, these were three bucks and they are flat paintbrushes as you can see. And they are reasonably flexible and great for acrylic paint and um, just general use really. And these are good for watercolors. I think these are actually meant for, I think it's just general use with any paint really. So um, they are both from, from Montmartre. And these are $5.95 for four and these were three dollars for six so yeah pretty nice i'll just take them out of the package now and these just for some finer um some finer paint work i suppose so we have those and then i came across this thing i've opened it already because i wanted to see what it was it is an adhesive eraser and it removes Adhesive residue from paper, plastics, and glass. Erase masking fluid from watercolor projects. So um, I was curious. It was three dollars twenty, and it's um, a rubber thing with texture. As you can see. And um, I've tried it on some packaging, and it didn't work. But I have seen someone use it in a in a video where they use it with um, masking fluid. So yes, this is, um, I think, handy for all kinds of things. Um, I'll, I'll let you know um, if I use it and um, how it goes. It is actually, I bought it so I can remove sticky residue and stickers uh, without having to break out any oils from um, thrift store packaging. So there we have it. I also found these polymer clay cutters. We have a sharp, a sharp, a star, oval, square, hexagon, uh, flower, a smaller flower, circle, heart, teardrop, and a diamond shape. Uh, these were seven dollars fifty. Uh, they are stainless steel, and I thought they were cute to use with, or easy to use with polymer clay. Um, projects and have a quick and easy shape there. Then I have some of these clips. Oops. I wanted to buy these anyway from um, Timu and then I saw them at this store and uh, they were a really good price. So these four were $5.40. These are there are six in here for 325 so they're a bit smaller and these are six pieces for 350. Um, so I have no clips I only have like um, these bull, bulldog clips for my little miniature projects so I thought these clips would be handy to get. Anyway. Like I said I want to buy them anyway 
And then I saw them there. I'll get to the, the book last. I found some glue sticks, some big glue sticks uh, for my glue gun for three bucks per pack. So pick some up, up those up. These are um, these clamps that you can clamp a project with as well. A little bit more heavy duty, all made of metal except for these pieces. And uh, these were $3.75 each. So basically to go with all my other clips. Also found some fabric paint. Um, <laughs> I really, the book keeps falling over. Inside the box. I'll get to you in a minute. Fabric paint. I sold this one, 20, 20 pieces. They also had 12, 20, 24, and 36. I went with the 20 because I'm not really fond of metallics. This one does have silver and gold, um, but not all the metallics that the 36 one has. And the 24 one had also a few more extra metallic colors. So I just went with this one. So I wanted to get some fabric paint for a while now. And uh, these come in little jars, I'll show you. There we have it. And um, yeah, I thought that would be a nice project. Um, if you want to see any fabric paint proje projects, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Shoes, bags, I don't know, um, little zip bags for, um, for pencils or whatever. Um, let me know if you, uh, if you can think of anything. And then last, but certainly not least, I got this one, needle felting for beginners. Now I, have dabbled into needle felting and um, I kind of know how to do it. However, this has such great inspiration in there on how to do certain things that I didn't know about. And um, yeah, I just decided to uh, to buy it. This cost $26.99 here in Australia, uh, but it, it is a great book. It also is the best craft book, uh, craft business award winner. Don't know what year, but interesting so yeah so um i hope you enjoyed this little um travel vlog haul video and um i'll see you all in the next one bye bye